Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about changes in volcanic activity and the Ring of Fire. Most specifically, I want to talk about this new phenomena that I have noticed on the news lately, and that is the volcanic fissures that they're talking about in Hawaii. Now, in my old timeline, you'd have a volcano, and it might blow its top, and lava may come out of the top and maybe out of the side a little bit, and it will roll down or fly down or make pyroclastic flows down the side of the mountain, and people underneath better start running. Uh, also, you may deal with toxic gases. Well, what we're seeing now is the storyline that there are these volcanic fissures that are pre-existing underneath roads and towns and homes that may come up. Now, in my old timeline, it could happen that as lava rolled down the hill, it would form lava tubes, air would get trapped in the tubes, and there would be maybe some dry tubes down there. But then it was not expected that lava would flow back down there again. But now what we have is that there's these pre-existing fissures that show up so that you don't have to worry just about the top of the mountain or pyroclastic flows, but you also have to worry about these fissures all over the island. Here's an example of one. And what I've been seeing in the imagery is that you see people's yards and, and streets and stuff with uh, bubbling, spewing lava right behind it. And these people are not near the top of the mountain. And in fact, the top of the mountain is not blowing its top. So this is what's so weird here is that I'm seeing this splatter. Um, let's see. Okay, this guy is going to kind of explain it a little, but basically he's saying that there's kind of a lake of lava and that l the lava drops below the water table, then rocks and debris fall into a crater and create a blockage, and then the steam pressure pushes it out of the fissures. So let's just turn off the sound here. Okay, so... Here is where the explanation begins. So you have this lava thing here. The lava drops below the water table, then junk and debris blocks the hole. I've never heard of anything like this with these fissures and all this stuff. It, it's totally alien to me. In my old timeline, you just worried about the top of the mountain. Maybe it blew so explosively there might be rocks flying. Uh, but nothing about this fissures thing. All right, now here is a um, video of some of the fissures. So you can see this is nowhere near the top of the mountain. This is just regular civilized regions. Okay, so here we have uh, a fissure that goes along through here. You can see this is not a continuous line. It uh, bubbles up here, it bubbles up there, it bubbles up there, and then in between, it's not bubbling up. It, it's not a flow line anymore. It's actually existing fissures, and then the lava bubbles up in this place and that place. See, look. So basically, you have molten lava that can come up almost anywhere. And that's really a change for me. I mean, it's kind of like the stuff of nightmares to me. Okay, so in this video, they're talking about new fissures being discovered here and there. You can see it boiling up again. This is just regular random places in the, in the middle of Hawaii. 17th fissure opens, volcano threatens eruption. So this volcano has not erupted. It's just these fissures are opening up all over Hawaii in different places. So that's, that's a total departure of anything that I've ever heard of or known about, about volcanoes. Uh, this is like a totally alien concept for me. Okay, so here you can just see various images of the fissures. Uh, this particular one here was on a lot of uh, news agencies. Um, this looks more like I classically kind of remember because it, it kind of looks like this tree's on fire, but actually if you really look at it, this is a blob of um, lava spewing out here. Here shows more of the fissures, long lines of fissures exploding. Quite the light show here. Just, you know, this is just normal civilization regions. This is not way up on the mountain. Again, the Hawaiian volcano has not exploded. This is just fissures. And these aren't even coming from the top of the mountain, which is creepy for me.
Okay, so anyways, um, this kind of shows what I'm seeing now as a really new dimension in volcanic activity. But there is one other thing that I felt like I should just add in here. And that is the Pacific Ring of Fire, um, otherwise known as the Ring of Fire. I remember it being called the Ring of Fire, but I, nowadays it's being called the Pacific Ring of Fire. And I wonder if that's because there's going to be another Ring of Fire coming up, which I haven't seen yet. But um, way back, uh, I remember the Ring of Fire just being localized around Japan region and Indonesia, just right in here. Japan, if you recall, was way further out in the ocean, and the ring was just in here, and it was ring-shaped. That's why they called it the Ring of Fire. And I used to think to myself, well, even though I'm over here in California and we get a lot of earthquakes, at least it's not as bad as over here where the Ring of Fire is because we get earthquakes, but we don't get a lot of volcanic activity and stuff. Of course, that was before Yosemite was uh, deemed to be a super volcano and all that blah, blah. But, but basically, although we got a lot of quakes, it was worse over here in Japan. And they get a lot more than us. And I was always thinking, well, at least it, we're not the worst. But now the ring of fire is not even ring shaped. It is uh, kind of horseshoe shaped. Now, when I looked this up a couple months ago, they would call it, they would kind of joke it's more like a horseshoe of fire. And at that time, it was in fact much more horseshoe shaped. Uh, the, what I'm noticing today is now that I'm looking at it, there's starting to be this elbow over here by Indonesia. And this kind of makes sense because if you've been watching things, this region above Australia has really been expanding. When we first uh, were talking about the Australia ME and how it's moved, and they were saying, oh, look, it's right under Papua New Guinea. And there wasn't a lot of other stuff here besides Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea was kind of the big region. Now we're getting this giant Borneo is huge now, and there's a whole bunch of other territory on Borneo. And so it kind of makes sense that this horseshoe slash ring slash whatever a fire now is got to have a little elbow over here to cover this. Now, um, I'm aware that Lone Eagle in the current timeline has done a video on this a while back. I mean, it's clear to me that Lone Eagle of right now is not my old Lone Eagle. He appears to have come from a timeline closer to this one than I did. Um, because there's a lot of new old videos by him, and um, I, I think that uh, they are different than uh, his videos are different than the ones I originally saw. So, still, still great channel, but you know, a lot of his videos have changed for me. And one in his video, he just doesn't remember this leg of it. So, uh, this part hasn't changed that much for him, apparently, in current timeline. But anyway, for me, Ring of Fire was once a ring, and it was way over here by Japan, and that's it. And there were no fissures uh, around volcanoes. A volcano spewed out the top, and that was it. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.